Although archaeology may not be everyone's idea of a fun subject, when you start to delve a little deeper into it, the study of the human past through the examination of material remains reveals a most fascinating field of study. The digs in the desert to find Egyptian mummies or old Viking tombs that Hollywood glamorizes certainly have their place, but there is more to archaeology than just the film-worthy stuff. You'd be forgiven for thinking that archaeology is a study of the past, those departed from life and the long forgotten. But, in reality, the discipline is a study of humans, and more specifically, human life. You see, it's important to understand how people lived before us, even if it was thousands of years ago. Some of the world's oldest but best-known civilizations, such as the Roman, Egyptian, Greek or Mayan empires, give us an invaluable insight into how society has developed over the years. In other words, it shows us why we live and learn the way we do today, and the best thing is that there is always more to discover. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three fascinating recent archaeological discoveries. Scientists have found a lake under the sea. Those who swim there won't come back alive. Scientists have discovered a frightening underwater lake in the Gulf of Mexico. Consequently, many pieces of research are being carried out by one of the associate professors at Temple University. Cordes described his findings in the journal Oceanography as one great discovery that is intriguing but also frightening. Normally, you would not expect a lake to be found under the water, because a lake is a large sea of water that is surrounded by land. It is dangerous because the lake water is saltier than the surrounding water, with researchers estimating that the lake water is more than four times saltier than the surrounding water. This makes it a toxic environment for life. It also contains some toxic gases like hydrogen sulfide and methane. And so, the water in the lake does not mix with the seawater in the surrounding area. This is the reason why people who accidentally or consciously swim to this area will never come back. The toxic nature of the environment is not ideal for humans. For instance, the salty water of the lake would cause your body to drastically shrink, plus the toxic gases would also drastically affect your body. The only group of organisms that have been discovered to live in these regions are bacteria and tube worms. More research is to be carried out on this mysterious discovery, helping researchers to understand this unique environment. Scientists are now using this water lake as a research ground to further understand how living organisms like bacteria inhabit and adapt to regions like this successfully. Ancient Mayan Superhighways Found in the Guatemalan Jungle The jungle is full of mysteries. For a long time, Mayan culture was one of these mysteries. Even in the present era, we have much more to learn about the Mayans, how they lived, what they built, and why they built. There is no better example of this lack of knowledge than the recently discovered ancient Mayan superhighways found deep within the Guatemalan jungle. These causeways stretch approximately 150 miles through dense trees and foliage and were only discovered as the result of high-tech scanning. It is fascinating to consider what more we have left to discover in the jungle and what more we might uncover with future advancements in technology. Although we have no real way of knowing why Mayans created the paths, experts have established they were used to transport goods from one place to another. Each road or individual structure is approximately 40 meters wide, up to 6 meters high, and in some cases span a length of as much as 40 kilometers. The region of Guatemala in which the superhighway was discovered is El Mirador, or the Can Kingdom. Although there is still a lot to learn about the area, it is now recognized as the cradle of Mayan civilization. Therefore, it makes sense that such a significant discovery about the Mayans would be made here. In addition to hosting these superhighways, El Mirador was also once home to at least one million people and the largest pyramid in Central America. The superhighways were discovered here thanks to a laser-based remote sensing technology called Light Detection and Ranging, or LIDAR. This technology penetrates the thick canopy and dense plant matter to uncover what lies beneath. 
Archaeologist Arlen Chase says, LiDAR uses laser pulses that bounce from the Earth's surface through leaves and back to a computer mounted in a plane. While most people felt the technology would not be successful based on past experiments in Central America, we became convinced by 2006 that it could be used to determine what was on the ground in terms of Mayan sites under the jungle canopy. The Republic of Guatemala is currently considering the Mirador Basin for a protected status. It would be classified as a wilderness area, so the vast natural and historical resources it contains could be preserved for as long as possible. Archaeologists are also hoping to unearth more mysterious discoveries here. Researchers find a secret warm oasis beneath Antarctica's ice that could be home to undiscovered species. A study of the subglacial caves might reveal undiscovered animal or plant species living comfortably due to the heat of an active volcano. Although average year-long temperatures on Ross Island hover around minus 17 Celsius, including six months between April and September where they do not rise above minus 20 Celsius, the temperature in cave systems beneath the glaciers can reach 25 Celsius. Located around and beneath Mount Erebus, an active volcano, the caves have been hollowed out after years of steam travelling through their passages. The study of the caves, led by the Australian National University, evolved into an analysis of the soil within. Fraser revealed that it contained traces of DNA from algae, mosses and even small animals that could be living in the underground oasis. Most of the DNA, Fraser admits, is like that of species living on the surface. However, not all the sequences studied could be linked to a particular animal or plant group, meaning Fraser may be on the cusp of discovering new life forms as well. Because there are several active volcanoes in the Antarctic, co-researcher Charles Lee from the University of Waikato in New Zealand said similar unexplored subglacial cave systems could exist across the continent. The research, originally published in the international journal Polar Biology, said there are another 15 volcanoes in Antarctica that are currently active or suggest signs of recent activity. We don't know yet just how many cave systems exist around Antarctica's volcanoes, or how interconnected these subglacial environments might be, he said. Co-author Laurie Connell, a professor from the University of Maine, shared her colleague's excitement but said the DNA evidence doesn't prove anything. The next step is to explore the caves themselves, hoping to find the living proof the team needs. If they exist, it opens the door to an exciting new world. For millennia, humanity has been defined and shaped by the world around us. As the natural world grows and evolves, so too do we as a species. Looking back, it is incredible to see how far we have come. Looking forward, who knows what other exciting discoveries and changes lie in store. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.